What's going on YouTube? Jason right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about the iOS 12.2. Apple has finally released it after a long period of betas and it's actually very important. So let's discuss about it. So in order to tell whether we should update to it, we should definitely see what it has to offer in terms of security. So as you can see, both 12.2 and 12.1.4 are still signed for the moment. So if your device has already updated to 12.2 automatically, then you can downgrade to 12.1.4. Four. However, none of them are jailbroken for the moment. Anyways, if you take a look in here, Apple posted the 12.2 security contents and there are actually a lot of vulnerabilities in here that are very, very interesting. And if you take a look in here, there are many, many vulnerabilities that would be able to elevate privileges. For example, there is one in contact. It says in here, a malicious application may be able to elevate privileges. Well, of course, that's very interesting. You have core crypto in here, which also says a malicious application may be able to elevate privileges but then you get the scary ones like the facetime one which says quote a user's video may not be paused in facetime call if they exit the facetime application while the call is ringing which is actually a pretty serious one and then of course you have the ones like you know the io kit in here the kernel ones which may be usable for jailbreaking so definitely stay on 12.1.4 if you're interested in jailbreaking but then you also have this one in here on messages it says quote a local user may be able to view sensitive user information and then also also, you have the privacy one, which says, quote, a malicious app may be able to track users between installs. Now, this is actually a pretty serious one, in my opinion. Then you have one in Safari, which is, again, pretty serious. It says, quote, impact, a website may be able to access sensor information without user consent. And of course, you have a lot of WebKit ones in here, which may be usable for a jailbreak via Safari but we don't know for the moment. And then of course you have the last one on Wi-Fi, which says, quote, impact, a device may be passively tracked by its Wi-Fi Mac address. Now there are a lot of bugs in here in iOS 12.2 that have been fixed, and some of them are even kernel vulnerabilities. So remember that this basically fixes all of them. So if you're interested in the kernel vulnerabilities for jailbreak purposes, you should stay on iOS 12.1.4 or 12.1.3 if you're not already jailbroken. Now, should you update considering all the bug fixes in here, especially the privacy ones? Well, yes, if you do not care about jailbreaking and if you just want to have a secure device, especially if you have a newer device which doesn't really risk its speed by updating it, then definitely you should update the 12.2. It fixes a ton of vulnerabilities which can all be used, of course, on lower versions like 12.1.2, 12.1.3 or 12.1.4. But if you're interested in jailbreaking, you should not update the 12.2 at all because, of course, it fixes a ton of vulnerabilities which can be used for jailbreaking and also if you're already jailbroken, you may not want to update the 12.2. However, if you do care more about your privacy or the security of your device, then definitely update to 12.2 because as I said, it does fix a lot of things. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I am Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.